CellQualia Intelligent Cell Processing System is the world's first instrument for automated cell manufacturing with process analytical technologies. This instrument brings manual cell culture to automated manufacturing and delivers a high level of quality control. The features of this instrument are automation of cell culture from seeding to harvesting, closed system for aseptic operation, capability of auto passaging, real-time imaging, inline process analysis technologies, auto sampling for offline analysis, and it can be connected to an upper manufacturing control system. This video contains two topics, system overview and how to manufacture cells with this system. In appearance, the system is composed of two main modules for refrigeration and incubation with a UPS and data server. Automated cell manufacturing follows cell culture recipe and its workflow will be shown. At first, a seeding bag containing pre-cultured cells is set for cell expansion in Unit 1 with imaging, medium analysis, and medium exchange. At an appropriate timing, cells will be harvested and ready for the next step. The harvested cells will be transferred to Unit 2 as auto-passaging and used for cell expansion in Unit 2 with imaging, medium analysis, and medium exchange. At an appropriate timing, cells will be harvested and ready for the next step or return to Unit 1 to expand the cells further with a 36-layered flask as an optional step. Data of culture environment and cellular status will be collected and used for system control and culture monitoring. Electronic data can be used for process validation and product QC. These are very important for QBD to be established. To aid understanding, a system overview will be shown here. Unit 1 and Unit 2 in the incubation module are houses for cell culturing. Reagent bags, sampling and harvesting bags are set in refrigerator module for preservation. Media and reagent buffering bags and seeding and passaging bags are set in the room temperature area. Drain bags are located in the bottom and CO2 unit camera, tablet PC for system control, and main switch and barcode reader are as shown. A fully closed system is one of the important features of this system. For users' convenience in installation, tubing and bags are set to a reinforcing template. An appropriate setting of 10 templates and flasks and aseptic connecting lines makes a fully closed liquid transfer system. This is the operational workflow of cell manufacturing. Preparation in advance, set up the system for cell culturing, outputs, and clear up. All the records including raw materials are highly preferred to be digitized and this system can register raw materials by scanning barcode with reader as a preparation for cell manufacturing. Of course, registered material data can also be available at the next run like a database. And cell manufacturing, the culture recipe needs to be set and registered in advance. In list view, registered recipe can be found and each recipe is composed of camera control, setting of seeding volume, parameters in ECM coding, and so on. User can recall registered recipes and edit them. Timetable view is very helpful in confirming the timing of instrument control. Each cell culture unit has a stage to set and fix multi-layer culture flask. And the flask is connected to line with aseptic connector. Appropriate setting of templates and flasks and aseptic connecting lines makes a closed liquid transfer system to form a fully closed liquid transfer system. Each bag is assigned to each function. 
reagent storage, reagent and medium buffering for warming up, cell storage at seeding and passaging, cell harvesting and medium sampling, and draining. At the installation of media and reagents, transfer media or reagent into bag and store it into cassette. Connect to lines. Install to appropriate position in refrigerator unit. At installation of the system, the system self-checks, then ECM coding starts. Status of system can be confirmed at monitoring display. ECM solution is transferred to culture vessel. At the end of incubation, ECM coating solution is drained to waste tank. Cells at appropriate confluency for passaging are prepared, harvested and washed, and suspended cells are transferred into seeding bag. Direct seeding of cryopreserved cells may be feasible as another option. Store seeding bag in incubation module. A cassette containing cell suspension is installed in instrument, and seeding bag is connected to liquid transfer line. Since all of the parameters are now set, automated cell manufacturing starts by clicking the Start button. Cell culture media is transferred to the reagent buffer bag for warming up. PBS filling the flask is withdrawn. Replace PBS with culture media. Then cell suspension is transferred to flask for seeding. Start incubation, and a CMOS camera takes real-time images. In Imaging Data window, cell image and imaging position can be monitored at preferred timing. In Inline Monitoring window, time course of pH, lactate, glucose in the media, and their ratio can be confirmed. Before medium change, the culture medium is transferred to medium buffer bag for warming up. At medium withdrawal, medium is sent to inline sensor and sampling bag for analysis. Fresh medium is sent from medium buffer bag and transferred to flask to renew culture medium. After medium change, cells are kept incubating for further growth. At the timing for subculturing, cells grown in Unit 1 are harvested and automatically transferred to Unit 2 for seeding. Before P2 seeding, automated ECM coating of flask in Unit 2 needs to be finished. Dissociation reagent is transferred to buffer bag for warming up. Culture media is also transferred to buffer bag for warming up. Medium in the flask is withdrawn and transferred to the inline sensor and sampling bag for culture monitoring. And used media is finally transferred into drain bag. Disassociation reagent is transferred to flask and incubated to loosen cellular attachment. Excess amount of dissociation reagent is withdrawn to drain bag. Fresh media is transferred to stop dissociation reaction and flask is agitated to dissociate cells completely. Then cellular suspension is transferred to passaging bag. 
Finally, cells in passaging bag are transferred to P2 flask for seating. CMOS camera moves from the bottom of P1 flask to P2 to continue real-time imaging. When cells reach the appropriate confluency for harvesting, wash and dissociate them in the same manner as passaging. Dissociated cell suspension is transferred to harvesting bag and ready for the next step. Post-harvesting, cells will be concentrated and media will be exchanged with cryopreservation liquid. Cell dispensing and cryopreservation steps will follow in many cases. Please apply commercially available instruments for post-harvesting step at customer's preference. As shown in this video, CellQualia Intelligent Cell Processing System has the following features.